In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to stream industrial machine data into Timescale DB using MQTT. So let me start by showing you the high level architecture of my data pipeline. I have a .NET Core application that simulates machine downtime events, production cycles, and product defects. It publishes these metrics as MQTT messages to a Hive MQ broker on different topics. Next. I'm running a local instance of the HiveMQ MQTT broker, which receives incoming messages from my .NET Core publisher. On the broker, I have enabled the HiveMQ PostgreSQL extension, which subscribes to the relevant topics and executes corresponding SQL queries to insert the data into Timescale DB whenever a new MQTT message arrives. Finally, I have Timescale DB set up to store all the incoming data in three different tables each aligned with the type of machine data I'm streaming. Okay, let's go to my database. So here I've created a database called PlantDB on my Timescale DB server. Inside this database, I set up three tables, machine downtimes, production cycles, and production defects. Each table, as you can see, has got columns specific to the data I want to collect. At this point, the tables are empty and ready to receive data. Okay, let's move on to setting up the MQTT broker. I've already downloaded the HiveMQ Enterprise MQTT broker, which comes bungled with a Postgres extension. You can download the HiveMQ broker by going to this URL. Okay, so I've placed the broker files in a local directory, and now I'm going to run it. Okay, so my HiveMQ broker is running, and as you can see, by default, it listens on port 1883. So I can verify that my broker is up and running by accessing its admin interface at port 8080. And right now, if I look under the installed integrations in the admin interface, you'll see that there are no active integrations. Okay, now before configuring and enabling the PostgreSQL extension, I'll go ahead and run my machine data simulator to start publishing messages to this MQTT broker. And to observe the data being published, I use MQTT Explorer and connect it to my HiveMQ MQTT broker, which is running on localhost at port 1883. Okay, now I'll run my data generator. Okay, so I can see my data coming through to the MQTT broker. The topics that I'm interested in here that are receiving messages from my data generator are the downtime data topic for machine downtime events. And then here under cycle data topic, I'm receiving the production cycles every 10 seconds. And then under the defect data topic, I'm receiving all production events. So as you can see, all of these messages are JSON encoded. My goal is to persist this data in Timescale DB, so now it's time to configure and enable the PostgreSQL extension on the broker. To configure the Postgres SQL extension, I go to the extensions folder within my HiveMQ broker directory and open the HiveMQ PostgreSQL extension folder. And then inside the folder, I open the conf folder. This is where I need to place my config.xml file. The examples folder contains a sample config.xml file that you can copy or reference. So I'll open this file in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so this is the configuration of my PostgreSQL extension. So here at the beginning, I provide my timescale DB connection details. So I provide the host name, port, database name, username, and password. And then here under MQTT to PostgreSQL routes, I set up three routes for the three different MQTT topics. Under the downtime data route, for the MQTT topic filter, I've specified the MQTT topic on which I'm publishing downtime data. And then under processor, I have provided the path to my insert downtime data SQL query to execute the insertion of MQTT data into Timescale DB. We'll look at the query shortly. Next, under the cycle data route for the MQTT topic filter, I have specified the MQTT topic on which I'm publishing cycle data. 
And then again, under the processor, I have provided the path to my insert cycle data SQL query. And finally, under the defect data route, for the MQTT topic filter, I've specified the MQTT topic to which I'm publishing defect data. And under the processor, I've provided the path to my insert defect data SQL query. Now let's go ahead and look at the queries. So as you can see, this is your standard SQL query. So for the insert downtime data SQL query, I'm inserting data into our machine's downtimes table by mapping the JSON properties to a specific table column and also performing type casting. And then I'm doing pretty much the same thing for the insert cycle data query and the insert defect data query. So whenever a new message is published on the topics specified in the config file, a corresponding query will be executed. Okay, so that's all that we need to do to configure our PostgreSQL extension. So now we can enable our extension to start streaming the data into Timescale DB. And to do that, I'll go to the extension directory and then remove the disabled file. And then if we go back to our broker admin interface, you'll notice that our PostgreSQL extension is now active. Now, if we go back to our Timescale DB, and when you execute the queries to view the data in our database tables, you can see that you have data streaming into machine downtimes table, production cycles table, and production defects table. So now you can connect a visualization or analytics platform to your database to visualize and analyze the data. That brings us to the end of this video. If you found the video useful, please like and share and also subscribe to the channel.